Thanos. The mad titan Thanos seizes control of the hollowed infinite gauntlet and wields near omnipotent power. Who can stop the victorious new overlord? Hello and welcome to the Central Wings Corner and today we are reviewing Thanos from Marvel Legends and as you know I'm slowly building up the superhero shelf and I'm going kind of comic-esque to the Avengers and I just simply had to have this guy. I picked him up for £32, I think, in Smiths. Uh, it's just fantastic going out and being able to pick up your figure from an actual toy. You know, it's, it just seems so long ago being able to do that. And this guy is in a fantastic package as well. We've got this nice big wide window display here, an extra head up here. I'm not too sure what that's from, I'll have a read up on it. On the side here, we've got like a, the gauntlet being snapped and we've got a gripping hand down here and obviously he's got two fists. The actual backing of the actual box as well is actually Thanos' throne as well, which looks really cool. On one side, we've got him with the Infinity Gauntlet looking pretty sparse and same again on the other side, no writing whatsoever. On the back, we've got him actually sitting in that throne, with Lady Death, and on the side, we've got his bio. So without further ado, let's just crack this bad boy open. So here he is in his blister pack, looking absolutely nice. Actually getting that rid of that shine on that box really shows these vibrant colours as well. And obviously this is just the inside of the package of his throne, looking pretty fine. So just to take him out for our first impressions. Nice bit of uh, crackling plastic there. This guy feels really robust and that feels a bit wobbly in the middle there, but um, he looks absolutely superb and I can't wait to take some pictures. So we'll go through his uh, pictures and articulation and we'll see you in a moment. So we've been away, we've taken this guy's photos and I must admit he is absolutely superb. He does lack slightly in articulation, but it definitely makes up for in the looks department and that's for sure, especially with someone with a ball bag chin. Now he comes with three accessories and mainly they are extra hands and stuff on there. So we have this one here, which is when he's got the gauntlet, it's got all the gems and all that on there. We've got a nice sculpt sort of clicking finger kind of animation in there. And, and then all these sort of gem parts. They're just simply painted over on the actual sculpt itself, but I kind of would love to see like a translucent kind of extra plastic mold sort of added in there. Um, so they do look a little bit kind of, um, a little bit basic in my opinion. But the actual paint on there, the art, you know, the applicants of the paint, there's no bleed or anything, so, which is pretty cool. The other gauntlet that it comes with is like an open hand, kind of sort of like surging the power for his body, kind of power, motion hand i guess uh, i have used it before in a sort of like gripping the, the hulk sort of punch coming at, it, at him sort of kind of sort of thing but um, yeah it's pretty cool again no color bleed on the paint applications and the sculpt is pretty cool the actual main hand i kind of would like to see like the clenched hand with the gems on there as well so i might add these a little bit later on just sort of paint them over because i just feel it's a bit of a missed opportunity to have a clenched sort of hand on there i get it that it's before that he has the gauntlet but to me i just kind of rather that he had a clenched hand with the gauntlet as well the other head that he does come with so i've had a read up on this and this is the actual kind of old king thanos he just falls in love with death and he, he's just annihilated everything and he's the king of pretty much nothing um but he just has to die to be with death in the end uh, and this is his look when he comes to the end of his kind of days really um, which is pretty cool we can actually take off his basic head and just popping it straight off and that just pops straight on it's not there's never like a satisfying click with it however it just sort of twists on and then it's kind of on there but um yeah it looks nice it looks okay and um the actual detail in there looks fantastic and like the beard grays and stuff on there uh, obviously there's no sort of shading or anything on the crown 
but apart from that it looks pretty cool and taking that off we can put simple one straight back on as I prefer this look and that one you get a satisfying click so with that with his accessories we can actually go through his articulation and this is where the guy kind of falls short in a way so with his head we actually got a left we got a right you can look down not so much you can look up a tiny little bit arm wise obviously we've got a rotation here it can go all around but it gets pushed out because of his sort of like shoulder pads arm wise you can come up this far there's no butterfly in there so that's pretty much it but you're only going to get this sort of far forward because of that shoulder there we've got a rotation at the bicep and we've got a rotation at the elbow as well we've got a single jointed hinge there and it is literally a little bit lower than 90 degrees on there we've got a rotation at the wrist and it's also on the hinge we've got a waist swivel which is just below the actual belt and it can come down this far and it goes back not so far either leg wise you can come up this way back upper thigh rotation it's got a double jointed knee but you can't really get much from it no actual rotation here at the uh, boot cut and we've just got a rocker and a pivot at the ankle so yeah unfortunately the articulation there is just quite poor but you can still get him into those nice sort of uh, big poses and stuff like that because he's such a big sort of bulky figure he doesn't need to be sort of athletic like in a way so where this guy comes to life is his sculpt and his paint applications and everything on there. It just looks superb. Obviously, he's not the MCU Thanos, you know, blah de blah he is the comic, so he's a bit basic. But his face, just look at that face. That purple with the definition of all those sort of lines on around on his chin, the snarling look, the inserted eyes with the sort of like piercing blue, with the frown over the top and the raised kind of uh, stripe over the head here. It just really kind of sort of really just looks evil and menacing doesn't it it's proper like a marvel villain it looks absolutely great the rest of the figure itself obviously it's made in this kind of uh, sort of pearlescent kind of gold all over on these parts here and on his belt and obviously his gloves and stuff are made of it as well and um, yeah it adds off the shine it really reflects the light really nicely and looks great the blue itself the blue off camera kind of looks a bit sort of matte look but if you really look there is different shades there's a lighter blue there's a darker blue and on the camera it really shows up it looks really nice it looks really good the actual i guess like this part here looks more glossy than the arms and stuff but yeah it just absolutely looks really nice on the back again there's not really much going on it is just fanos he's just in a blue kind of jumpsuit with these gold boots and stuff but what more else can you ask for especially for the comic version as well and he looks fantastic and I'm so glad to really add him to the shelf so just standing him up really we can have a look at his kind of size proportions so this is uh, Thanos kind of Marvel Legends I think it's coming up for about probably about six and a half inch we've got Boba Fett from the Black Series line here that we can add him on there so you can obviously see the size difference we've got the bootleg Hulk figure that I got as well to go on the shelf with him and as you can see the size difference in him looks enormous and then obviously we have a normal black series figure of iron man and then we can bring in the todd mcfarland's batman let's go on the back so you can see the nice size comparisons between all the different figures and he does stand well with all of them so thank you so much for joining me in this one this guy is absolutely superb i highly recommend especially if this is right up your street if you are a comic sort of nerd a bit like me and um yeah just go out there he's in the smiths now smiths are opening up the toy shops open up it's a good time to be alive so thank you so much you can subscribe you can comment and you can follow me on instagram which is in the description below and i'll see you again next time take care bye